Taylor here with a quick bar chart trick for right aligning your categories, which works in PowerPoint, Word, and Microsoft Excel. So this is the chart that we're working with. We have Microsoft 2022 sales, USD millions, and this is a great chance to use a bar chart because we have long category names. The only problem is all of these categories are center aligned and the normal chart formatting options won't help us. So in this tutorial, we're gonna look at moving these all to the right so that they are flush down our axes and using the same paragraph dialog box, we can also tighten up the verbiage a little bit to create more room or to create a more professional look for our chart. So the before and after that we're gonna work through is this is the chart on the left with the center aligned, not tightened up categories. We're gonna to move to right aligned categories and we're also gonna tighten up the text. I think I used a spacing of 12 instead of the default spacing of 15 that came with the chart. So let's talk about right aligning our bar chart categories, which has to happen in Word or PowerPoint. So even if you are using Microsoft Excel, you're still gonna need to come through one of these two programs and then come right back out again. And I'm gonna show you why you can essentially hopscotch through these programs and still have everything tied up to your Excel spreadsheet in just a minute. So here in PowerPoint, we have those Microsoft sales and USD millions, and you can see our center aligned bar chart categories. Now, normally we'd either just double click or hit control one to open the format access dialog box, which has most of, almost always has the chart formatting features we need. In this case, the format access dialog box does not have these, and you've probably already tried the left aligned, center aligned, right aligned, which if you look at those bar chart categories is not solving our issue. In this case, if this happens to you, you need to come and select your axis. You want to come to the home tab. You need to come and find the paragraph dialog box, which you get to by just clicking this downward diagonal facing arrow. This is where, if you look at your general alignment, we have the centered aligned. This is how all bar charts start. We're simply going to select right aligned. We'll do the paragraph spacing next. I'll click OK. And you can see all of those chart categories move to the right. Now in the same vein, if we want to tighten up or scrunch up the text a little bit to make it look a little more professional, we again can come back to the paragraph dialog box. We can come and instead of right aligning, we're simply gonna to come to the line spacing. Instead of single, we want exactly. You can see it starts with 14.36. I'm just gonna click this down to 12, click okay, come back in and you can see that now that's been tightened up. Now, if you want to move this paragraph dialog box to your quick access toolbar, you're simply gonna right click it, select add to quick access toolbar. So you can just click this to quickly access it at any time you want without having to go dig through the home tab. Now that you know how to right align bar chart categories in PowerPoint and Word, let's talk about Microsoft Excel. And for Excel, you are gonna need to move through Word or PowerPoint simply because that paragraph spacing dialog box does not exist in Excel. But as we move through PowerPoint or Word, whichever one you wanna work through, your data is gonna stay referenced to the Excel spreadsheet. So let me start there and explain why. So before I download this live, this is how it works. If we have Microsoft Excel data, that we use to then create a Microsoft Excel chart. If we then copy and paste that chart into Microsoft PowerPoint, this PowerPoint chart still references the original Excel spreadsheet, all right? A big misconception is to believe that this data now exists in Microsoft PowerPoint. It's not, this data is still referencing the original Excel spreadsheet. So what that means is we can move from Excel into PowerPoint to leverage a feature that does not exist in Microsoft Excel, the paragraph spacing dialog box. We can then copy and paste that chart back into Excel and the chart is gonna naturally or automatically reference the same range of information so you don't have to create a new chart or anything. So the way again this works, we're gonna move from Excel into PowerPoint, we're gonna make some adjustments, we're gonna move back the other direction to take advantage of that feature, the paragraph spacing dialog box that does not exist here in PowerPoint. Now for your own information, this type of chart is what's referred to as a linked chart, a linked PowerPoint chart in that the PowerPoint or the Excel spreadsheet is going to automatically populate that chart in PowerPoint, a linked chart. Before I demo this live, if you do wanna learn more about linked charts and keep up to date on my latest PowerPoint hacks, tips, and tricks, what I like to call PowerPoint hack trickery, make sure you subscribe here on YouTube. So here I am in Microsoft Excel with those bar chart categories that are center aligned. Again, we cannot come to the home tab here in Excel and find the paragraph spacing dialog box because it does not exist. And this left align, center align, right align moves it vertically, not horizontally. So to do this, we are gonna select our chart, Control C to copy. I'm gonna Alt tab back to a blank PowerPoint supplied, Control V to paste. I don't have to change the colors, but I'm just gonna choose uh, keep source formatting so it looks the same. I'm gonna Control spin wheel in. 
Here you can see those center line categories. Again, we're gonna come to the paragraph spacing dialog box, which you can find on the home tab. So I'm gonna to come to the paragraph spacing dialog box. You can see alignment is sent to centered. I'm gonna select right. I'm also gonna choose the line spacing to be exactly, I'm gonna say size eight, click okay. You can see the adjustments are made here. I'm gonna zoom back out so you can see how small the chart is. Oftentimes our Excel charts use a lot smaller font size than our PowerPoint slides. I'm gonna control C, copy the chart, alt tab back to Excel and watch, control V to paste. That chart pastes in and still links to the original data because as soon as we move from Excel to PowerPoint, this is a linked chart. In this case, I'm gonna delete out the original. I'm gonna move this to the left so you can see the data there with the right aligned. Uh, bar chart categories and the size nine spacing. If you learned something new for Microsoft PowerPoint in this video, please let me know with a quick thumbs up here on YouTube. Your key takeaways from this video are number one, the paragraph spacing dialog box is the secret to right aligning your categories in PowerPoint, Word, and Excel. This feature only exists in Word and PowerPoint. So if you are using Microsoft Excel, you're gonna need to bounce into PowerPoint or Word and bounce right back out again, leveraging again, what's known as a linked chart. Make sure you subscribe here on YouTube to catch my next video all about linked charts. If you're just looking for some PowerPoint resources to help get your happy hour, including PDF cheat sheets, resources, and courses, look at the links directly beneath this video. This is Taylor from Netsable Speed Training, and I'll see you at happy hour.